Here we have a Honeywell Turbo Fien. I don't really pick these up anymore just because I have so many of them at this point, but I did cop this one because this is one of those oddball ones that has the PSC motor in it. This is the Kaz made in China model HT900 power draw 0.25 amps and the date is blank so I'm not really sure when this was from Here's the look at the motor. And the capacitor is down there. Whoops. At the bottom. I can't tell what the microfarads is because it's probably on the other side. As far as I can tell, these are identical otherwise to the street to pull versions other than the motor that dwells within the machine. It's absolutely baffling to me that these are not all built with the shaded pull motor. With the energy efficiency craze that's going on in this country right now, it's shocking to me that motors like shaded pull motors which are so horrifically inefficient are still allowed to be used for general applications like fiends we just had the light bulbs the incandescent light bulbs get canned in this country very recently and there was a bit of an uproar about that because you know, there's a lot of reasons why but that's a different story and to me like the shaded pull motor is the incandescent of motors the only difference between the light bulbs and the motors is that with the motors you actually have a comparable replacement which would be the PSC motor which is I mean the rotation quality of a PSC motor is is just as good as that of of a, a shaded pole motor for a general application like a fan in fact one could argue that it's even better because the PSC motor has higher starting torque now some people, I've said this in the past, and some people get on here and oh, the capacitors are unreliable, the shaded pole motors are so much more reliable. I mean that in theory is true because when you have a capacitor involved that's another component that could fail, but they don't really fail that often. Yeah, they, they fail when they're in rough service conditions like a condenser or something like that, but even then they usually last a couple of decades before there's a problem and they're they're pretty inexpensive at this point they're not going to really increase the cost of of the fan all that much i can't imagine maybe 50 cents so i don't get it i just don't get it but that in of itself makes sense because that's at least consistent because the whole efficiency craze doesn't make sense to begin with fused plug Right now we're looking at 118 the volts. Start this thing up on the low. Huh. The bearings appear to be stiff. Very, very stiff. Um, which reminds me, the other thing I wanted to mention about the reliability argument, which just really fails, is that the bearings on the shaded ball motors are generally so cheap that it seldom they run more than a couple of seasons if that before they either lock up or get rattly and then the fan is discarded anyways so we're working with a product that is pretty much intended to be disposable either way so this one the bearings are exceptionally stiff it's barely even running it's pulling 
0.19 amps so even in a almost locked up state it's still drawing a fraction of the power that the shaded pull motor model would run and uh, I'm pretty sure the shaded pull ones are like 0.7 amps which really is, is kind of crazy because if you think about it and people run fans all over the place like you go to a, an office building people have fans at their desks people run fans in the bedroom water sleep there's fans everywhere that's an outrageous amount of power that's being wasted you know point one amps versus point seven amps I don't get it I don't understand why these are why the shaded pull motors have not been banned yet that is baffling to me I mean I hope they don't I don't get banned because nothing wrong with them really but it just makes more sense to use the PSC motor at this point Looks like it's starting to gain some speed. Let's go up to the medium. Medium, we got 0.21 amps. 23 of the watts with a power factor of 0.96. Not much is happening on a medium idle. Let's try high. On high, we got 0.22 amps. 26 the watts with a power factor of 0.99 so this really is a much better design than the shaded pull model inherently it's got the same bearing issue though those bearings are just about ready to lock up and this doesn't look like it has that many hours on it either that doesn't even seem like one year of use so I had kind of predicted that perhaps the this model with the PSC motor, the bearings were going to be somewhat of a better quality than those with the shaded pole model, but inherently that is not the case. And so now here we have not a capacitor failure, but a bearing failure. So inevitably they fail for the same reasons. Now the motor looks like it is screwed together with regular Phillips head screws so it probably won't be that difficult to open it up and add a couple drops of bearing uh, add a couple drops of bearing, add a couple drops of oil oh there is information on that motor it is the motor model MID or no MHD 551 3M12 minus 900 and it does it not say the power it pulls it says uh, voltage only and the date is 5117 so I'm not really sure what the time frame was when these were made or why they were made but it seems like it was a couple of years ago and only for a very short period of time so very strange model very strange indeed but we'll get it cleaned up and ready to go once again uh, I don't know when sometime <laughs>